Hey guys and welcome back. So today I was thinking that we could look at how to how to do graphs which show year on year growth or year on year um, revenue because you always want to do comparisons uh, with previous years, right? Um, so I'm going to teach you one way to do it. Uh, there's several different ways and um, one of the ways that I've kind of done it before so we're just going to look at a small little example if you're interested stick around but first let me have some english breakfast tea all right let's get into it so what we're trying to do here is what this graph basically shows is monthly breakdown of the revenue for different years and since the latest year has data only till august we are looking at how did the sales look like for the months that have been passed uh, for different years so we can compare it month by month and um, one of the ways to do this is you limit the number of you limit the measure to the current date so we have a function called uh, year to date and let me just show you what the script editor here looks like so this is what my data is we are loading um, date and i'm taking the date as order date and then what i'm going to do is pull in the order date and create date functions like different date functions here um, and this is how it is so you could maybe take a screenshot of this or um i'm just going to upload this um so so you can just yeah if you're interested you can download it um and copy it from head to toe here till the end and use this to create your different date functions okay i hope that helps you um what you got to do is connect your date uh, let me show you in the data model so you need to connect your order date and into your date function let's just call it the um, calendar here so you need to connect your order date into minimum and maximum because we are creating variables and then what we're using is we're using the variables to iterate and get each date between the first date that you had an order and the last date that you had an order um, and create different uh, different dates here so that we can call it out and we can say like week year month and most importantly we are also creating small flags called current year to date function flag uh, last date uh, last year to date flag and uh, rolling 12 and we also have this important one called is in year to date um, so each date that you have has different flags so now if you see here we have a master calendar here and then we have a fact and we have order date that's connected to the order date from master calendar and then what we're doing is for each order date that we have here we have different flags and we're using that in our set expression over here uh, to calculate the measure so um might look a little bit more a little bit complicated um i know some of you might be thinking like okay but why do i even need to do that when you just use months and you could just pull in let's say total sales here so for some years it will show the entire year for some it'll end in and for the latest one it'll only end in august because that's the data that we have you could do that but what i'm trying to teach you is how you could use is date to function um, is year to date function so that you can create kpis whatever you want uh, using that okay so let's get into it um, maybe let's delete it right okay so first things first let us go to our load editor and i've loaded the data here i'm only loading data that's less than today um, and i'm creating here 
um, the calendar function. So just copy and paste the calendar function because, um, well, it's not that I've written it from scratch as well. I've, I, I found it and I've modified it a little bit, uh, some things that wasn't there and what I needed. Um, and then you look at the fact, you take the order date, um, you use your order date as a key here. Um, and, and then let's just load it once. Great, and it's loaded. Next, what we got to do is, here we have a function called is in year to date. So we are taking in all orders till the current year um, or the current date. So if we're gonna create a new measure to say year on year, um, let's just create a new one. Let's say year to date sales. Let's go into expression and the expression is we want it to be a sum uh, and then we need we want it to be the sum of total price and that's my but we don't want it we don't want all right we want it to only show the sum of total sales still today so because you want to compare how is this ma this year doing with the previous years so I want to restrict it to the sales for the latest year so if the sales of latest year is till September then I want to compare how are we doing till September compared to the previous year and then the year before that so here what I'm gonna do is put in um, set expression um, right and we say is in year to date we want this to be equal to one yeah so basically what we're saying is if we go into if day number of year for order date so we have a function in click senses that says day number of year so every day has uh, is given a number so we are saying that if day number of year of order date is less than or equal to day number of year of today then we say it's one otherwise it's zero so all dates till today will have a one there so in the set expression what we're saying is is in year to date function is one then i wanted to calculate the sales otherwise we exclude it so we're excluding all after today as um, zero and then we are only calculating the sales till today um, and then we're using this one in our ex set expression here let's uh, apply um, create and now we're going to put a chart um, let's put a line chart uh, and we want the dimension to be month because um, because we want to compare uh, sales for the different years, right? Um, and so we have month and we're gonna add year because we want a, we want different lines for different years and we're gonna add the measure that we just created year to date sales. So now you see that the sales is restricted to August because today the date is August 21st. So all sales before August for every year is calculated and we see it uh, comparing and we can compare it for the different years. Just make this a little more visible. That is, let's go to presentation, um, show data points. I also want to show it, show values. Um, so we see a little bit of So now here, what we are seeing is we can actually compare how each year looks like. So now let's see if we can compare just the current year with the previous year, because that's 
what most people are interested in, right? So what we're going to do is create two different measures, one for um, sales for the current year up till today, and then sales for the previous year up till today. So let's go year to date sales. So we just created this, so let's just duplicate this. Um, let's go back, go to edit, and now we're going to add some more functions here. So here, what we're saying is calculate the sales till today, but we're saying we want to calculate the sales till today only for the latest year. So what we can do is also add, um, if you go back to here, we have a function called year. So for every date, we're looking at the year. So what we can say is year, year is equal to, we're going to write a set expression here again. Um, is equal to max year. Right? So what we're saying is all dates up till today, but the year you wanted to bring the maximum of the year. So it's going to be 2021. Um, so you're going to say year is equal to open flowery brackets dollar is equal to max of year. So you see here, it shows you that 2021, it's all automatically picking 2021. So let's click on apply. Let's say current year. save um, and let's also create for previous year so let's just duplicate this one let's go back inside and what are we going to do here year is equal to dollar max year you want one year before that so let's just put a minus one here you see here it became 2020 so now we have sales up to today um, max year and then max year minus one. So current year and the previous year. And let's change this one to previous year, PY. Okay, and let's do this thing again. How do you wanna, um, how do you wanna see it? Let's, uh, do you want it as a KPI? Um, maybe let's just do a line graph first and then so let's put it as a line graph um, and we want again month and we could do current year and also year to date previous year yeah and uh, and now you can compare the two years how it's going you could also put that into KPIs just to see um, how it looks like. So you could add one, I'm just gonna copy, paste. And here let's put current year and previous year. I hope you like this one and please leave a like. It helps a lot. Uh, I would really, really, really appreciate if you would leave a like and um, and leave a comment um, on what you think or if you have a better way of doing it, just let me know. Um, of course, you could do, I'm going to put out another video where we are going to do year on year growth percentage calculations. Okay, so uh, see you in the next video and I hope that it helped you. I'll leave a link for um, for the script uh, below so that you can check it out. Yeah, have a good one. Peace.